I hear people talking bad about the way we have to live here in this country. Harping on wars, we fight and griping about the way things ought to be. And I don't mind them switching sides and standing up for things they believe in. When they're running down my country, man, they're walking on the fight side of me. Hey guys, this is Jason with the Forever Free Gunner. Today we're bringing you a video about the Arkin. Um, it's a new offering from Arkin. It's the uh, SH4 Generation 3. Nope, sorry, Generation 2, 6x24 to 50 power. So 6x24 by 50. So um, this is a direct replacement of my Diamondback Tactical um, because the Diamondback Tactical did not have zero stops. I went out with a particular person, I won't mention their name, but they decided to twist the scope knobs and we couldn't get back to zero while we were shooting at uh, 1300 yards. So I decided to get myself an Arkin. I waited seven months to get my Arkin scope. So now here she is on my Ruger Precision 6.5 Creedmoor. To go ahead and just show you the scope. We already zeroed it a few weeks ago, um, but we're gonna do film through scope, let you look at the reticle on um, six power all the way to 24 power um, and just let you guys see that. But before we get started, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications, guys. It doesn't cost you anything. Okay, guys, so we're back with the 6.5 Creedmoor. I already ran through the site. Sorry, guys, I didn't have a battery in the optic to be able to show you the lit reticle. Um, I'll do that uh, at a different time. Um, you know, doing this camera stuff, you're thinking about all these other things, and the one thing I forgot was the battery. So at any rate, um, it is daytime bright, but regardless, um, we'll go ahead and now we're gonna just shoot on 24 power. Um, that way you can just see the reticle and all that stuff um, at its best clarity. We'll go ahead and shoot five rounds, make sure we're on target. I sighted it in with 147s. These are uh, 95 grain um, and they're the Hornaday Varmeter round and they're the Hornaday premium line guys. So um, at this distance, I don't usually notice a point of impact shift uh, with the other scope. So I, I wouldn't imagine that we do, but I did reset the um, zero knobs and everything. So I wanna make sure that when I was doing that, I didn't affect anything. So we'll go ahead and start shooting for effect here, guys. Um, we'll start filming on the, through the scope right now. Should be able just to go click on it. Now I'm gonna have to turn it all the way off. Okay, we're now filming on the camera through the scope. Now we're going to film me shooting it as well as through the scope cam. All right, got to find targets here. Go ahead and put one in the chamber. A little snug on that full mag. Okay, we're named Dead Center. I pulled that shot a little bit low because I was trying to squeeze it into my shoulder a little bit more. It does not kick hard, guys. I gotta find my target. All right. I'm gonna aim dead center on this one. There we go. Beautiful. We'll go down here to 85 yards. Actually, 88 yards, sorry. 
We'll aim for the bear. Oop, I shot high. That was me, not the rifle. We'll shoot Sasquatch. Aim at his groin. It should hit him dead center heart. Now more like the tummy. We'll go over to the little two inch target. Let's see. Drop my monopod down. Get my gun level. Well, maybe not. Just a little on the... Hopefully we can... Yeah, there we are. Okay. Gonna have to aim a little on the low side because it is favoring a little high. Boom! <laughs> Knocked it off the hook. Uh, can't shoot that again. For some, oh my, no wonder my uh, bipod came loose. It's affecting the cant of the rifle. All right, guys. All right, we're going to shoot this guy. Yeah, that was a little, pretty close to where I was aiming at. So guys, I'm doing this for you, shooting here, so you can get to see the new arc and scope in action. I'm wasting my, oh, I'm not wasting it getting practice okay we're gonna shoot the buffalo in the head there we go that would be a dead buffalo all right very very tight chamber guys Precision rifle, very tight chamber. Let's see if I can get him in the head. I'd say I shot him in the head and knocked him right off the target. All right, guys, so that's 10 rounds through the new Arkin 6 to 24 by 50. Yeah, nice hit. You hit the bear. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and shoot one more round for the for YouTube land. You got to rack around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not semi-auto, I've kind of spoiled you with all those semi-autos. I guess. All right, guys. Well, that's Christy Ann shooting for you. And uh, it's either Baby Finley or Baby Barrett. We don't know yet. So um, I just wanted to get uh, the babies behind the gun, make sure that they're... Uh, not recoil sensitive. So oh, again, God bless guys. Thank you. <laughs> so there's 24 power. We'll go up to the higher target. We'll take her down to 20 power. To 16 power there. 14 power. 12 power, 
10 power, see everything staying nice and clear, 9 power, 8 power, 7 power, and the lowest setting is 6 power right there. So just crystal clear, it's a very fine, fine reticle guys, as you can see there on the backdrop of the green target. So I'm going to readjust the camera and then we will um, shoot some just 90 grain, 95 grain, 65 creep more for fun. Show you guys some shots being fired through the scope and then call it a day guys. Guys, I'd just like to thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Again, God bless and keep that powder dry.